to do it, it's David. Today we're back here with another special edition of FAKE NEWS! Wait, Dad, you're sleeping? Get up! We're oh. filming! Oh. Remember? Ow. Why do you keep forgetting oh. this stuff? Yeah, the, uh, the weather's just been really weird lately. That's why you're up here. Well then, let's start off with the weather. Around the U.S. has been record-setting high temperatures, which is causing things to freeze. These blistering high temperatures are getting above the boiling point, which causes this strange phenomenon where things do the exact opposite. They freeze. People's water pipes have been freezing, and rivers are freezing also. People aren't sure whether they should be grabbing jackets or maybe sunglasses and heading to the beach. If you're not sure what to do, just try not to get heat exhaustion or be frozen. For the geography news, the Rocky Mountains are in danger of being extinct. Yep. Scientists have recategorized them from endangered to critically endangered. So what you think might be a nice little walk in the mountains, you're actually doing this. Or 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 this. Oh, no! First it was the dinosaurs. And now it's the mountains. For the world news, the eighth continent has been discovered. It's Texas. No, it's not. Texas is a state. No, Texas is a country and now a continent. But it's not surrounded by water. It touches the Gulf of Mexico. What? And it's going to be the Gulf of Texas soon. It's not surrounded Ow. by water. Okay, fine. You win. It's a continent. All right. Now for some breaking science news. Not only is the Earth flat, but the Sun and Moon are too. They've had that sneaking suspicion about the Earth being flat for years, and I'm so excited to find out the Earth, Sun, and Moon are all flat. It's awesome. I mean, have you ever been hiking on a mountain on the Sun? Nope. That's because there are none. Because the Sun is flat. That's right. Now we have some really good travel news and really good tip. Now here's the travel tip. Don't tell anyone, but you could save thousands of dollars if you follow this one tip. So I called my travel agent yesterday and she didn't have anything available for tomorrow or next week or today. And she said, can you travel yesterday? And I said, I never thought of that. It's a crazy idea. It's brilliant. She had openings for yesterday and the day before. That's so awesome, isn't it? It's fantastic. I even got 70% off. Wow. So take that travel tip and run with it. Travel in the past, save some cash. Now for the medical news, professionals are saying that a great way to prevent Alzheimer's is by chewing gum. I thought it was called old timer's disease. You're an old timer. I'm not an old timer. <laughs> These young kids. Well, chewing gum actually does stimulate memory loss. You mean prevent it? No. Oh. 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 What were we talking about? You know, you need to chew some more gum. Now for some education news, schools across the country are now encouraging cheating. That's right, when you see the correct answer and then you write it down, you just recorded it twice in your memory. Yep, it's hard to forget that. What about copying wrong answers? <laughs> so if you know anybody that gets straight A's in school, make sure to sit next to them. Well, thanks for watching our fake news today. Bye! Bye. You're fake. Oh, oh, you've got green that hair. Oh. 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 Save me. Give me some chewing gum.